This video is on alkyl halide elimination. Now, um, elimination usually occurs with uh, similar reagents and reactants compared to substitution reactions. In an elimination reaction, molecules are removed or eliminated, and this leads to a production of a double bond or an alkene. So this would be the general formula of an elimination reaction. And in an elimination reaction, uh, Y and Z are always uh, removed or eliminated. Z, and we get an alkene as our product. Now, um, um, in this case, uh, Y and Z are either going to be hydrogen or an alkyl halide, and uh, the other is whatever. So, um, uh, for naming the carbons, the carbon attached to the alkyl halide is called the alpha carbon. So let's let Z be the halide. So this carbon would be the alpha carbon, and this carbon is called the beta carbon. And all beta carbons are is just every other carbon attached to the alpha carbon. So if there is a carbon here or a carbon here, they'd be called beta carbons. Um, now, <laughs> similar to substitution reactions, uh, elimination reactions also require a good leaving group. The, the carbon that the leaving group is attached to um, will will be the one that releases the alkyl halide and it and the carbon uh, between the alpha and beta carbon where the hydrogen comes off will be the one will, will be the place where the double bond comes in so let's start with an alkyl halide in which the beta carbon has at least one hydrogen to, to remove or eliminate so that the double bond can go between the alpha and beta carbon and a base so we have this this molecule and uh, NAB, where this is a base. So the NAB is a base. So um, the rank, primary, secondary, tertiary, of the alpha carbon and the type of base determines whether elimination or substitution will occur. Um, for explicit differences between the two, uh, see the video called Differences Between Substitution and Elimination Reactions. Uh, there are two basic types of uh, elimination involving alkyl halides. They are uh, called E1 and E2. In the E2 mechanism, everything happens in one step. So let's draw that. Um, let's start with ethyl oxide. And, uh, and this, uh, this substrate. Now we see that um, this is obviously the alpha carbon and this is the beta carbon. But so we see that here, this carbon can also be the beta carbon. And in this case, this um, ethyl oxide can also get a H from here. And it, there's really no difference. But um, for splitting purposes, we're going to take this H as it's much easier to see the mechanism. So the, uh, the mechanism is, uh, well, there's only one step in the reaction. And uh, the mechanism involves a transition state. So the first, I guess, uh, step to the transition state involves the oxygen donating uh, electrons to the hydrogen, and then the H uh, beta carbon bond goes to the uh, beta carbon alpha carbon bond, and then the alpha carbon to bromide bond goes to the bromide. So he here's the transition state. And this double T symbol indicates that it's a transition state. Um, so all these, uh, all these dashed lines represent uh, basically half bonds, or the process of which bonds are formed or removed. So the, the product is this. And we see here that there are no wedges and dashes, indicating that this whole thing is a point. 